they doing? Okay, so got a new toolbox. Gonna set that up right here. It's a Craftsman five drawer toolbox. Mom, Dad, I want to know what I want for my birthday, so that was last week. So got that. Or from Amazon, that same one that RP has, I think. So that has five drawers and one big one. That can replace. Watch out, Bumpy Doggy. I'll replace this one here. This one only has four drawers, and it's it works. It doesn't open the best, so we're gonna put that one here. Transfer some stuff from this one into that one. Maybe we'll keep this one too. We'll see how it all works out here. And you're helping, aren't you, by eating something? Okay, I got the new toolbox up here. Uh, a lot bigger than that one. I'm gonna have to move the screwdrivers over. I can scoot this thing over this way. I need to move the screwdrivers over a couple of inches. And then this thing will fit in there. It's got some nice drawers. Not too heavy duty, but it's pretty heavy duty. When you shut this down, then the, this, these are locked then. But sometimes I like to have my sockets up on top. So I got a lot of sockets in this drawer right here. Maybe I can fit more on top of this because over there they won't fit in that one. This one's a wider. Okay, so this might not be the permanent solution how I want everything. So I got some sockets up here and some wrenches. These things are made for taking out strip bolts. Those are. And I got some impact sockets. Those are a strip too. And the puppy dog is destroying the cardboard box that came out of here. I got some good players in here. I got my Max. I got some Max stuff here. A little miscellaneous stuff. Picks. Players. But there's more players over, over on the pile there that I took out of the drawer to put back. We got all ratchets in here. And two torque wrenches. We got more sockets down here then. We'll see how we like that. Sockets up there, sockets down there. Went from a big box to a little box. Went from a big box to that box and that box. There's a few things over in that box. I really don't know what's over there. I think it's mostly Allen wrenches and some more hammers. And then down here, we still got max sockets down here. Just kind of like the little catch-all, like all the little special tools, like wrenches you take and sand them down. Got some little bitty baby wrenches in here. The scrapers, pull, little pullers, little carburetor wrench stuff. And this one here, we still got all torque, all um, snap ring pliers in this drawer. And oil filter wrenches, and then over here we got all files and punches. It's nice that we have files on one drawer, punches the other. And in the back we got the good Mac wrenches. And down here we just got hammers, wrecking bars, crow bars, wire brushes. But we're still gonna have to figure all this out because not really how I want it. So we'll figure it out and see what happens. So. Okay, so I got the workbench finally cleaned off, toolbox organized, screwdrivers moved over, so we got some sockets up top, specialty stuff over there. Move some stuff around for the last little clip. special files and that kind of and uh, putty knives and little screwdrivers and stuff you cut to make work little junk drawer max sockets 
gear wrench, raptor wrenches, Mac wrenches, snap on, pl snap uh, ring pliers, that kind of stuff. Big old hammers, crowbars, more sockets, extensions in that one. Drills up there. We got files in one drawer, one section, chills in the other, the Ellen wrenches, more hammers, and then um, for the drill here, for the wire brushes, and then hand wire brushes. So it's coming along. It's got more to do. We got the little stubby wrenches here, screwdrivers, more wrenches. We'll get it figured out. Take a little while here. Getting some st other junk ready that I don't use anymore to get rid of. So hopefully you guys have a good day. And we'll talk at you on the next video. Toodles.